This weekend, I want to speak about being understanding. In 1 John 4, verse 11, it says, Dear friends, if God loved us in this way, we also must love one another. Don't bypass the potential ever for meaningful friendships just because of differences. Explore them, embrace them, and love them. Some of the greatest people that I've ever known have never attended my church. Some of the greatest people I know are not of my political party. And you know, that is, we're all different. We all have different views. But in those different views, we have to come together. I believe that's what they must learn in Washington and what we must learn as we go to church on Sunday. That it's not just confined, the spirituality that we seek within the four walls that we seek it. We have to realize there are great people outside of those walls and not be threatened or dismayed or try to isolate ourselves or them in our mind because of differences. What a blessing it is when our friends and loved ones seek to really understand us, what we are, what we think, and in the same way as we know that that is a blessing, we seek to be a blessing to others by seeking to understand them. We try to understand their hopes. We try to understand their dreams. We live in a busy world, and in a busy world we may think that it's easier over time to isolate ourselves and not try to come together, especially come together with those that are different from us. But God is a God of all. And being a spiritual student of the ways of God, we should seek to become a friend and a person that loves and accepts all people. God knows our every need, and God understands our heart. And it is true also of those that are different from us. God loves each person, and God has called us, if we're truly going to follow God, to, to be understanding and to love one another. So today... This weekend, we decide to go beyond the boundaries that we may have set and to honor God by showing love to all God's children. We slow down long enough to notice the trials and the tribulations of those around us. And we give the gift of understanding, not just to friends and family, but to those that are quite different from us, or even to the stranger that we have just met. Now, this is not easy at first. Sometimes it takes a lot of extra effort, but you'll never know unless you do this. The treasures of friendship that may be waiting to be discovered. Some of the greatest marriages that I've ever performed have been with two opposites. There was one woman that absolutely hated her boss. She hated her boss. And I told her, I said, find just one thing that, that you like about him and compliment him on that. And she had her real struggle with this, but she did it. And that one thing became the conduit for communication, uh, a relating ship between her and her boss. And of course, the rest is history. Find understanding in your heart. When you do, you have, in a way, touched God. I pray that for you this weekend 
And also, I'm excited for you because you'll have some of the greatest friendships, the greatest discoveries as you explore this uncharted territory. God bless you.